Hello my lovely year 13s, welcome to your last year of school, hopefully, unless you're a student that goes on to do your soon, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. I am going to be here to help you through all of this. If there is anything that you need, if there's anything you think I can do, um, if there's anything you want me to do, like a video or something that you can't find, just drop me a comment down below and I'll either make it for you or I'll find it for you or I'll tell you an alternative. So I am here to help you. So um, we've got loads and loads of stuff going on this term. This is always such a busy term for year 13 is because over the summer, I expect at the end of year 12, school told you over the summer to think about UCAS, think about your personal statements, think about your choices for university. Now, some of you will have done that, some of you will have had this idea in your head, planned on doing it, but then not actually got around to it. This is the, the, the term that those things start to ramp up. So I have done loads and loads of stuff for you. There's a whole playlist, there's a whole list of stuff over on my website where I take you through how to pick universities. Do you want to go to a college or do you want to go to a campus university? Do you want to go to a city university? Um, how to pick your course, uh, how to write your personal statement, all of those videos I have for you. If there's um, anything you want to watch you're not sure about, just drop me a comment down below and then I'll send you the link to the video showing you that is a particular thing um, or if you want to hear like my university experience, all of that stuff I have ready and waiting for you. I'm here to help you with absolutely everything. Um, and in combination with getting your UCAS statement ready, um, whether you're going to go for early entry in October, whether you're going to wait until January, please don't wait until January, just please don't wait until January. And um, we also have to do some revision. Now, um, it is hard because you're trying to balance lots and lots of things and the past couple of years have been a little bit brutal. So you're probably starting to feel tired, you're very starting to feel very over school, um, and you just want to be done with it. Well, the good news is you will be done with it in a few months time. And there's lots and lots of things you can do now to make next year easier. So whether you sat AS exams, whether you um, actually have those results, whether you ever sat AS paper, AS papers are a really, really good way for you to use as revision. Now, now I'm not saying do a full A-level paper because we haven't covered everything, but generally the, the AS papers covers the year 12 content and then the, the A-level papers will cover everything. It's slightly different for some particular subjects. But for example, my, chem my subject, chemistry, you can do the AS papers. Now, assuming your teachers haven't done stuff in a very, very different order, then you should know everything for the year 12 content. So what I would like you to do is just pick one AS paper a week and do that paper. Now I'm not saying do this in exam conditions, I'm not saying anything like that. Do it open book, um, have the mark scheme next to you, look at what the examiners are expecting to see in the mark scheme and then think about would you have written that and then why might you have not got like a hundred percent on that question was it uh, that you just didn't know the content well we can go and revise the content was it that you didn't write down the the correct thing to get all the marks and this is a very very particular thing in maths they expect to see certain stages of marking so if you kind of like thought oh it's a bit obvious I'm not gonna write that one down is that where you lost a mark um, or was it something like exam skills? This is very, very particular in biology when we're looking at the command words for different questions. That is a signposting to you the different things that the examiners are expecting to see. So if you have any trouble with these, then the exam, uh, the walkthroughs of the exam papers that I predicted for 2023, these are great ways to improve your exam skills. Now, I know loads of you are going to be thinking, why on earth would I watch the predictive papers for last year's? It is for the exam skills, it is for the content, because um, we, we were not 100% on every single paper, I will admit that. Um, There's a couple of people very angry about my biology predictions, but when we went back and looked at it, I was 60% right for the A-level biology papers. Um, for the A-level chemistry papers, I literally got the questions word perfect. And then for the A-level biology, aka essay, I predicted one of the essay topics. So... Going back and actually looking at the exam skills um, and the topics that didn't come up might come up this year. Obviously, we're going to be doing predictive papers 
um, for 2024 exams, along with the video walkthroughs, we're already working insanely hard on all of those. And the other thing that we've been working insanely hard on is um, that we're launching the courses. So they will be out next week. But these, you can get free access to these. These are a great way for you to track absolutely everything that you've been doing, um, to look at all the papers, all the predictive papers, all the walkthroughs, all the exam skills. And um, so there's loads and loads of stuff in there for you. Um, but the most important thing is for you not to stress to keep on top of things. And remember that I am here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I unexplained scratches.